No space. I should be able to get up there. between my teeth. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. I guess I should take some blue ground. Sparkles. I don't know why it's worth a lot. Naltuk said Rhea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed.
Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light. All right, let's see if the door's open. Get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. somewhere.
someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask, to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so... Goal is the same. Get the light back to the source.
Recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Unauthorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But... You and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes, but I would be breaking an oath, and that... 
I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrick of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone. Replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. 
Maratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Aloy. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Werak will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warwick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge, and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. I need to get going. There is much to be done.
feels like sunburn. when I was a kid.
I'd have to leave something else behind. Be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down, and not natural either. You might not be alone down here. Here's one of the metal birds. Damaged. Guess the Banuk already got to it. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. machine over a little. I guess the old ones... Maybe there's some way to get that flying machine over here. I could use my focus to look around. If I can't find something, maybe my focus can. Just have to go up. There's the door lock. 
I'll need to configure it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo, Sierra, Echo. Perhaps my... Could check my focus. See what it sees. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. So this thing will improve my spear, huh?
After all the magic I can put us through, we were meant to trust the cards. Do now. These paintings mean a lot to the Banuk. Some say Sakuri's paintings tell of the past, others say the future. Whichever it is. Is this what you- Hush, hush. A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending. And, and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you, you are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. Might as well get started improving my spear. Of the blue light. That's our task. <laughs> 